हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल इजी मेडिकल वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड इफ यू लाइक इट देन प्रेस द लाइक बटन एंड द सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन नियर टू इट सो इट विल गिव यू द न्यू अपडेट्स ऑन दिस चैनल एंड शेयर योर रिव्यूज इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टूडेज टॉपिक इज एक्यूट इन्फ्लामेटरी रिस्पॉन्स सो यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ इन्फ्लामेशन फर्स्ट इट इज अ defense reaction this is a body's defense reaction in order to eliminate the spread of the injurious agent external agent so there are two types of inflammation that is chronic and acute and what about acute it is a continuous process which can be explained by dividing into two, two part that is vascular event and cellular event so let's go ahead so vascular events alteration in the mind Microvascular event that is arterial scapularis when venules is the earliest response of the tissue injury. It can be studied into the two types that is hemodynamic changes and changes in the vascular permeability. So hemodynamic changes, the sequence of changes are as under. Firstly, the transient vasoconstriction of the arterioles. The arterioles vasoconstriction occurs uh, when the mild injury is there. Uh, the vasoconstriction. remains for 3 to 5 second and in severe injury it can remain up to 5 minutes then persistent progressive vasodilation occur at that site uh, which results into the red that more amount of blood into that size site and which result into the redness and warmth at that site then the increase in the local hydrostatic pressure it causes the blood it causes the edema edema because the tissue fluid and etc come in so which result into the swelling then slowing of or stasis of microcirculation occurs then leukocytic mar- margination occurs the leukocytes are come and they start the healing process so this whole dynamic ch- hemodynamic changes can be studied by the triple response so what's triple response so here you can see the diagram of this uh, triple response triple response is explained by the lewis experiment what's that experiment the lewis in- induced the changes in the skin of the forearm by firm stroking with a blunt point so by stroking with the blunt point the red line appears within a few second that is the first stage after stroking this occurs due to the vasodilation as we talked earlier then after some time the flare is seen and the reddish appearance or the flush surrounded during the red line this also results from the vasodilation of the adjacent arteriole then finally the wheel is a swelling edema of the surrounding skin occurring due to transfusion of the fluid into the extra extra vascular space so this can be easily seen in the diagram as shown and the second one is the changes in the vascular permeability it can be easily explained so so in this the around the inflamed tissue there is accumulation of the edema fluid in the intestinal compartment which comes from the blood plasma by its escape through the endothelial wall of peripheral vascular bed so this can be explained by the on the basis of the starling hypothesis so there are the two points that is force that cause the outward movement okay we can explain through the diagram so as you can see in the diagram uh, the outward movement is carried out by the increased intravascular hydrostatic pressure and the collared osmotic pressure of the interstitial fluid and the inward movement is done by the increase in the hydrostatic pressure and the intravascular colloid pressure osmotic pressure of the intestinal fluid so this is a normal fluid exchange in which the at the arterial end and at the venular end the hydrostatic pressure is normal and the osmotic pressure is also normal and the fluid which remains is uh, carried out by the lymphatic outflow you can see there near so there is no edema so now in the acute now we see into the acute inflammation what does what occurs so here in the acute inflammation so you can see the diagram what occurs here the osmotic pressure falls and the hydrostatic pressure are normal which result into the increase in the uh, increase in the outflow so it causes the edema so the patterns which are designed of the increased vascular permeability are as follows 
there are six pattern you can see in the diagram that is firstly the gap is created due to concentration of the endothelial cell that is number one then contraction of or mild endothelial cell damage occurs then sometimes it is due to the direct injury then it is due to the endothelial injury by the PMS that is polymononuclear cells then leakiness from the neurovascularization also occurs so let's study them in detail so now referring to the table so first that is endothelial cell contraction the mainly the venules are in, included and the response is immediate with that is within 15 to 30 minutes the pathogenesis is done by the histamine and bradykinins like and the example is mild thermal injury then the second one is the contraction of the mild endothelial injury it occurs in the venules and capillaries uh, it is somewhat delay and uh, the pathogenesis are interleukin 1 and tnf alpha example is sunburn then there is a direct endothelial cell injury which occurs in the arterial venules and capillaries that is th third and immediate is or delayed both are observing it uh, the pathogenesis is done by the cell necrosis and detachment uh, example are moderate to severe burns, severe bacterial infection and radiation injury then there is a leukocyte mediated endothelial injury the venules and capillaries are included response is delayed or prolonged and the pathogenesis is done by the leukocyte activation example are pulmonary venules and capillaries then there is a new neo vasculi vascularization the all the microvasculars are included response is any type pathogenesis done by angiogenesis and VG, VEGF and examples are healing and tumor so this is all about the uh, vascular events now let's move on to the cellular events so now let's start the cellular events it is divided into the two processes that is exudation of leukocytes and phagocytosis so Exudation of leukocyte. The escape of the leukocyte from the lumen of the microvasculature to intersectional tissue occurs in this process. And the PMNS, that is a polymorphous nuclear cells, comprise the first line of body defense. So, what occurs? That is the sequence is given below. So, firstly, the margining and pavementing occurs, then rolling and adhesion occurs. Some selectins, intergradients, ICM, and CM are involved in this. Immigration and diapedesis occur and chemotaxis occur. Leukotyrin B4, C3, C5A and C3 that is complement protein, cytokinins, interleukin 8 are involved. So let's study them in detail while looking through the diagram. So you can see here the diagram is that that is the normal axial flow you can see. Then the cells which come and bind to the this uh, leukocytes. So leukocytes come and bind to these cells and they cause the when the binding is known as the margination and then they attach to them which causes the pavementing so this occurs when the slow status phase of the vascular event is going on so that the cells can easily margin and pavement then the second then after that the rolling and attrition occurs that is the cells which bind the leukocyte which bind to that cells they cause the rolling and ad, they adhere to that cells and cause rolling and they take that cell to the uh, wall that is a wall of the blood vessel so that uh, the further process take place so this uh, the three main the three things are involved in this that is selecting intergrains and icm and vcm the selecting it is a, a protein which uh, causes the it is a protein which uh, uh, secret which uh, are of three types that is a p-selecting which uh, helps in the rolling e-selecting which helps in the rolling and adhesion and l-selecting it uh, rolls the lymphocytes and to the lymph nodes so then comes the intergreens with the, which also helps uh, a lot in this process they are a group of proteins and then comes the ICAM and VCM. ICAM is the inter intercell vascular intercell adhesion molecule and VCAM is a vascular cell adhesion molecule. They both provide a tighter adhesion to the cells. So thus the rolling and adhesion occurs. Then in immigration and diapedesis occur. Immigration is the immigration of that cell with the leukocyte out of that blood vessel so that the normal blood flow can occur 
and the diapedis is the flow of the movement of the rbc out of that occurs and due to the rbc comes out from the blood vessel there is a increase in the redness occurs in this movement also then final one is the chemotaxis it is a transmigration of the leukocyte after crossing several barriers that is a endothelium basement membrane perivascular myofibroblast matrix to reach the interstitial tissue is a chemo, the chemotactic factor is required this process is known as the chemotaxis the chemotactic factors are leukotriene b4 complement proteins that is c5 and c3a cytokines that is interleukin 8 are involved so you just have to understand it and mug up it so now move on to its second process called phagocytosis